Hi Year 8s, hope that you're well. Hopefully you've read the post on Show My Homework and you recognise now that I'm going to be setting you your homework. We're going to be carrying on with the unit studying surrealism. Um, I believe that you've looked at really famous artists such as Rene Magritte or Salvador Dali, who are two of the most famous um, artists which were under the movement of surrealism. An artist that you're going to look at this week is a surrealist artist, Vladimir Kush. However, he's, a, he's alive now. He's in his 50s. He's a Russian-born artist. His work is very, very popular in America as well. So hopefully you've looked at the PowerPoint presentation, you've seen the work, you've seen the characteristics of his work, and your job is to produce your own Kush piece of work. Now, whenever I look at an artist's work and I'm trying to respond to the artist, I like to think about what are the key characteristics of their work that I'm going to try to emulate. So the first thing is, every part of the picture is filled up with imagery. So the composition has to be really full. It always has a landscape in it. So the first thing I would do is I would choose a landscape. Then I would maybe choose an object or a theme that I want to be my main focus. The brilliant thing with looking at surrealism is yes, you have to be neat because surrealism work is really detailed. However, what you draw and how you draw can be as crazy and as mad as you want it to be. So there's no right or wrong answers with this. So that's what's really good. So with his work, the first thing I would do is choose a landscape. Now you could either use holiday photos, you could use imagery from the internet, you could even use some books. So what I've got here is, I've got a bit of a fun book here. This is my little daughter's book. It's all about Australia and Melbourne and it's got these quite cool illustrative sort of images. I've got another travel book here. And actually, as I flick through it, I can see some lovely landscapes that I could use as my backdrop, but it's up to you. Don't make it up though. If you make it up, it won't look good. Then the second thing is, what's your theme going to be? So I just ran around my house and found some random objects from my son's sort of PlayStation stuff. I thought, and, and remote control cars. How could I turn that into some sort of cool imagery? Could the car be doing some amazing, crazy thing? Um, or I even, pinch from my daughter's room, like these cute little dolls. And I kind of thought, how could I bring them in, make something crazy? Um, I know that one of his works got those beautiful cells with the butterflies. So actually, could I take a different, whoops, a different kind of animal or creature and then maybe add more butterfly wings to it with a different background? Look around the house, see what you've got around the house. Or, failing that, if you don't have things around the house, look on the internet, but do not make it up. If you make it up, it will lack detail, it won't look right, and it won't look very good, okay? So, first of all, choose your landscape or your background. Choose your objects and your theme. Think about the composition and go for detail. Detail is key. Now, I would prefer colour. Put that extra bit of effort in, add that colour. If you think about it, all surrealist work has these rich colours and they're very bold and very vibrant and bright. Make sure you bring that to your work as well. Okay, so good luck. Put lots of effort into it. Make it as crazy and as fun as you want it and I look forward to seeing them. Thanks, bye.